everybody, E here. Welcome to a book tag. Uh, not really a book tag, I guess it's an author tag is what we'll call it. Um, I'm going to be tagging several authors at the end of this uh, video. Uh, but basically I just want to go over what's on your playlist. Um, I, even if you write to silence, <laughs> let me know what's your preferred listening medium. Um, like I said, even if it is silence, let me know what it is in your own video. Maybe explain why. If it is just silence, maybe let me know why you can't write to it. Is it because you end up writing the lyrics or you end up singing along and you can't focus? Let me know all that stuff too. Um, so every single month I delete uh, my entire... Uh, I have Amazon Music. Every single month I delete all of my songs on the first of the month and I go and I download new music for that month. Um, this month, this is what I have on my, uh, my phone, which isn't actually a phone, it's just a small tablet. Um, in other words, I don't have phone service on it. So, right now I have Audio Slave, um, their album, Audio Slave. Uh, I have Billie Eilish. I have two songs, one is from the 13 Reasons Why soundtrack, and one is a song called Bitches Broken Hearts. Um, and then I have her albums, Don't Smile At Me, and her new one, which is When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? I especially love this one right now. Uh, Bad Guy, Zanny, and You Should See Me in a Crown are some of my favorites. Uh, last month, I was li listening to exclusively Slipknot, and I can't remember, XIX, so whatever that would be in Roman numerals. I would listen to that to get started writing every morning. Right now, I am listening to uh, You Should See Me in a Crown every single morning before I uh, get started writing. Then I have Post Malone, uh, both of his albums, the only ones he has out so far, Beer Bongs and Bentley, and the first one, which is uh, Stony. And then I have all of Soundgarden's albums. So I have Bad Motor Finger. Let's see here. Um, the uh, It says Bad, Bad Motor Finger... Two discs, but I think it's the, uh, the ex not the exclusive, but the extended edition, um, because it has Rusty Cage studio outtakes, um, it has uh, demo stuff, all that stuff. Uh, and then I have, I have disc three for Pad Moto Finger, and I'm not exactly sure what's on that one. I just listen to these things, I just hit play on my playlist and let it go, and then Bad Moto Finger disc four. Uh, this it's all the same songs. It looks like you have live, you have demo versions, and you have studio outtakes. Then I have uh, Down on the Upside, which has Pretty Noose on it. Tremendous, tremendous song. Um, Louder Than Love, which I like. Uh, Hands All Over, that's a good one, and Power Trip. Then uh, Super Unknown, um, My Wave, Fell on Black Days, Black Hole Sun, Spoon Man, all terrific, terrific songs. Then I have, uh, that's the Super Deluxe Edition, with, uh, it has two discs. There's alternate versions, live versions, all that stuff. Um, it has, actually, three discs. Let's see, does it, four discs. It has four discs. Which is funny even saying discs, because all this stuff is digital. Um, next I have Tele Phantasm, which I didn't even know. I just downloaded all of Soundgarden's albums. I don't think I've ever actually paid attention to what songs these are. Um, I don't think I've actually paid attention to this album, period. I didn't even know about it until right now. That's how bad it is. Um, if you want to go back even farther, before Slipknot, um, I had all of Tom Waits' stuff, like 400 songs. Um, I think I did that for January. Um, and February, it was a mixture of Metallica, Megadeth, and uh, uh, Slayer. And then in March, I did uh, Slipknot exclusively. So, let's see here. Yeah, even the Telephantasm one has uh, has two discs. It's the deluxe version of that also. Uh, finally, I have Stevie Ray Vaughan's The Complete Epic Recordings Collection Studio. Um, it's got great, great work, great stuff on here. Pride and Joy, Texas Flood, um, Rude Mood, Mary Had a Little Lamb, Dirty Pool, um, Couldn't Stand the Heat. Uh, sorry, Couldn't Stand the Weather, uh, Voodoo Child, so, so many great songs on this album. There's a total of, looks like, uh, four discs, 
I guess. Scratch and sniff. Anyways, so that's what's on my playlist for this month. I don't know why I have such an eclectic uh, group of things, mainly because I don't have one single project I'm working on right now. I'm kind of bouncing around doing novellas, short stories, that kind of thing. I'm just basically sprinting with my buddy Gregor. Um, Gregor Zane, he's also an author. Uh, I've been doing that, and I... I mean, it's, it's one of those months that I just don't know what I want to listen to, so I download a whole bunch of stuff. If you guys want to see or hear uh, what I downloaded, what I download next month, let me know down there in the comments below. But now to the tag portion of our, uh, of our broadcast. Uh, I'm going to tag R. St. Clair. Uh, she has a wonderful YouTube channel. She's also a, an author. I love her book hauls. Um, I'm also going to tag J.B. Taylor. Um, he does uh, reviews and stuff. I'll link to all these channels down there in the doobly-doo. I want to tag Jen Bernardini, um, Erica from Erica's Bookish World, and let's see here, last but not least, I don't know if he'll do it or not, but maybe if we get some ha some hype down there in the comments, Chad Lutsky, I'd love to hear what you listen to while you're writing. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been a book tag, author tag video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!